Okay, there you're looking at a uh, laminated core from a universal motor and of course the windings and the uh, plastic shroud or the plastic protective um, part around the stator has been removed and um, we're looking at how easy it is to drill a hole through the core like so which I have done there. As you can see, very neat, tidy, no damage whatsoever to the laminations. First thing to do, uh, get yourself a couple of bits of scrap wood and uh, you'll see I have two holes in it and those holes uh, line up with these two gaps here and I simply put a piece of wood either side of our laminate and bolt it together. Front and back, like so. That's a bit tricky one, then, isn't it? And um, yeah, something like that. And your two bolts go through the whole lot, clamp very tight together, and uh, then we can proceed with drilling the hole through the core. The first bit I put through is nothing other than a mill bit, like this one here. This is uh, just a small sample. I'm sure, you know what a mill bit looks like. But um, that is what I drilled the first hole with, the pilot hole, um, which also helps to get rid of the swarf. When we use the next bit to drill our large hole, you'll see that I stopped just before the bottom. Um, that is to stop the uh, magnet that we're going to put in there going all the way through. So uh, just a bit of a retainer lip left on the bottom there. It's very shallow enough to uh, stop our magnet going all the way through so um, that's how we drill the hole and the second bit I use um, we just decide what size hole we want and then I simply use a uh, steel countersink bit like this one here which is the one I use for that hole there uh, slow speed and um, bit of cutting oil and you'll find that'll go through very nicely and um, do a very neat job just like that there. Uh, those holes you see there, the uh, plastic parts that hold all the laminations together, we've simply chopped straight through them, no problem at all. But uh, that's how we drill the hole. Um, for those of you mucking around with these vacuum cleaner motors, um, in your attempts to replicate the rotary transformer <coughs> you will find as with this one here we have all these retaining um, punches or pressings that hold the uh, stator core in and um, stop it falling out and moving it around <coughs> um, you can see we have three there Another one, uh, another three on the other side somewhere, <coughs> but nonetheless, uh, we want to get that out without damaging it. You will see on the sides of these motors that we have a gap, so our core is touching on one side up here, one side down here, and we have a gap here and here. So all we're simply going to do is just wrap a bit of rag around our um, steel housing we're going to place it in the vise so as one jaw of the vise is sitting on the steel housing on this gap and of course the other jaw on this gap and we're going to give it a little squeeze and see what happens so um, we're going to get set up and uh, we'll be back when we've done that okay so we're set up in our vise like so like I said one jaw is along one of the uh, gaps down the side of the casing in the armature and the other jaws on the other side and our jaws are fairly close to the top probably 10 mil down from the top ring of the housing all we're going to do now is wind our vise up just a little bit you might even hear a click like so give that a wriggle and out it comes as easy as that now you will notice we 
there's no damage on the core and all our little pop marks in there are still totally intact and we have no damage whatsoever to our housing that's how easy it comes out like I said in under 20 seconds we can get the guts out and um, we can now go ahead and unwind all these and see what we end up with then we're going to uh, drill a hole through this core well no we're not, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it with the other motor so um, you can then drill the hole through the core place your magnet and uh, your field coil around that magnet along with the rest of the crap you need of course the smaller the motor the smaller the magnet the smaller the dimensions given so that's it that's how easy that comes out without damage no problem at all thanks for watching